Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. I'm your host, Fred Schultz, and uh, tonight we're going to do a few things. Um, actually, I'm going to kind of step away from people just for a little bit um, at the very beginning here. I will get to my shout outs uh, here in a little while. Uh, tonight, I got uh, Mr. William Bailey on and uh, Steve McGuire from the... I guess he's got his face on there now, so I guess it's no longer a hand, but I like the hand thing, and I like going... So anyhow, it's the Unknown Paintball Podcast. So we're going to have those guys on here in a little bit. And what we're going to do, hey, Connor, how's it going, buddy? And we're going to talk about uh, uh, the raffle we got coming up for the fundraiser for Tracy Perez. Now, I've got, uh, you know, I've talked to all kinds of people. At, hey, Kenny, Kenny Stewart, terrific guy, General Paintball Museum. Kenny's moving all this stuff up to Michigan. Man, I got to tell you, it's going to take a truck just for the markers this guy's got. Man, but I'm going to I'm going to start with something. I'm going to get to my shout outs in just a little bit. But back in the day, there was a, sh a shoe company uh, called Diggers, and they sponsored me. And uh, the guy that that bought the the pattern from a football player actually, his name is Jerry Riley. Well, he's just a he was a really good guy, and he took and. Asked me one time, Tommy Lasorda was here. The Dodgers were up here playing the San Francisco Giants. So he goes like this. He goes, hey, Freddie. He says, uh, you know, he says, we're going down to North Beach to Italian restaurant. He goes, uh, I'd like you to come down there and, and meet Tommy Lasorda. And I said, yeah. I said, I'd love it. I said, that'd be cool. So my wife and I went down there and uh, we had dinner with Tommy Lasorda. And I mean, there was a, a bunch of guys there. The owner from San Francisco was there. I believe Willie McCovey was there. There was like eight or 10 guys and we all sat around the table and we talked and stuff like that. And we talked, you know, mostly baseball to start with. And then all of a sudden it just kind of shifted into paintball. And, uh, you know, and Tommy Lasorda, um, the reason I'm talking about Tommy is he passed away last Thursday. Okay. And uh, I just want to tell you what kind of a person he really was. You know, he, he was a giant in a big pond, and I was a little fish just swimming up the sewer. And this guy, after we started talking paintball, he kind of took me under his wing a little bit. And he asked me, he goes, uh, do you have anybody that, that takes care of you? You know, and I said, well, I said, you know, I have my sponsors and stuff like that. And he goes, do you have any agents? And I go, no, no, I don't have any agents. And he goes, well, I want to hook you up with an agent um, down in L.A., he goes, this guy is terrific. And, uh, you know, he called me back and forth. Matter of fact, this is a picture when we were at, uh, let me see if I can do it there. Maybe you guys can see that. That's my wife and Tommy Lasorda and me at the dinner that night. He loved my wife, too. <laughs> Kept hugging her. Yeah, but anyhow, and so... You know, he goes, well, I want to set you up with an agent. And so when he left, you know, I'm thinking, you know, this guy's a big deal. You know, this guy is, uh, you know, he's going to go away from here and I'm never going to hear from him again. Well, let me tell you guys, the next day he called me up and he called me up every other day for quite a while until we linked up. I linked up with this uh, agent. Now, the agent was cool, but the problem was this paintball was still, you know, in its infant infancy and it, it was just uh building up so they started they the, the agent comes to me and he goes well he says oakley wants to sponsor you and i says hey that's fine you know oakley sunglasses that works for me matter of fact they sent me cases of oakley sunglasses everybody i knew and matter of fact people i didn't know had oakley sunglasses i just gave them away left and right man and i probably still have 10 15 pairs out here that have never even been opened still out there and so anyhow, um, to make a long story short, they wanted me to keep going a different direction. Um, they, they, they kept sliding away from paintball. You know, they wanted me to do watches and shirts, you know, that had nothing to do with paintball. So finally, I had to tell them that, you know, as much as I appreciated everything and, and having an agent like that was pretty cool because I don't think anybody had an agent back in the day like that. And especially set up by Tommy Lasorda. And, uh, I just, I, I bowed away and then I called Tommy Lasort up and I explained to him exactly why I did it and everything. But my whole point being is he was a big fish. Tommy Lasort is known by millions and millions of people, but yet he took the time and the effort after just meeting me 
one time to get a hold of me and keep getting a hold of me until we got set up. So he passed away last uh, Thursday. So I just want to, um, my condolences to his family and uh, like myself and the other millions of people that really, really like the guy. If you knew him outside of baseball, he was just an absolute prince of a person. He was just an, an outstanding guy. I mean, so anyhow, I just had to throw that out there, guys. Tommy Lasorda passed away. I think he was like 91. And uh, it just sad. All right, real quick now. You know, I always give my shout outs at the beginning because, you know, you, you guys out there, I don't want you forgetting these guys that actually put this damn sport together. You know, these guys worked hard back in the day. And, and you know, I was back there with these guys. I've seen all the effort and the money that they they put together to put all this going and, and have it to where it is today. And um, I start with Tim Schloss. Tim Schloss had Tiger Stripe Camouflage. He now has uh, uh, Gateway Paintball, 10 minutes from the airport, as, as Tim would say, <laughs> in St. Louis. And uh, if you guys get a chance, you're in the St. Louis area or even in the surrounding states, it's worth driving over there. He has 100 acres, and I understand that the, the field is absolutely cool. Really, really cool. And Mr. Dan and John Colby. And I'll show this in a little while. Dan just sent me a, a reg here. I don't know if you guys would be able to see it. I hate to even take it out. But you probably can't read it, but I'll put it up there anyhow. Anyhow, it says, it says Fred Schultz. And I can't read it either, guys. And I'm holding the damn thing here. Yeah, it says Fred Schultz, 30 years of excellence, Air America, 1991, and Immortal Air, 2021. And that is so cool. Uh, Danny and John, I can't thank you guys enough for that. That is just uh, absolutely outstanding. And these guys are going to be coming on my show. You know, I've got a, a pretty good lineup coming up uh, this year. You know, Bud Orr is going to be on. Tom K is coming back. Bia and her husband, Mike Youngs, they're going to be on, which I think is absolutely cool. I've never got a chance to meet Bia. Um, she was kind of coming in, I guess, as I was going out. So I'm really, really looking forward. I, I guess she, as, as Tracy Perez, I guess these ladies were really, really good um, at what they did. And they, they really pushed the sport of paintball. And you guys know, you push the sport of paintball. I'm loving it. And I'm loving you. I'm with it. And then also, I always have to say hello to Mr. Bud Orr. Uh, you know, you really don't have to say any more than just mention his name. You know, Bud's a terrific person, a hell of a guy. He's done so much for paintball and for teams and uh, just an amazing person. And Tom K. Tom K. also, he is just uh, an excellent guy. Tom K., you know, Air Gun Designs. Uh, Tom's going to be on the show again. We had Tom on a couple times. Uh Steve and I had him on the um, Christmas show, which was pretty cool. I mean, we had a buttload of people on that show. Well, it was cool. I got to tell you, man, I was awed. I, I mean, Bud Orr and Tom K. And, it, it was uh, it was pretty damn cool. That's about all I can say about that, man. And then I got to say hi to Rainy and Juvie Boucher. They had paintball news back in the day. Uh, two times a month, they put it out there. You could pick up that paper, find out what just happened, what's coming up where the fields are, yada, yada, yada. Never charged a penny to the people out in the field. These guys, they'd ship them everywhere. And uh, the players could just go grab them. That's all they had to do. And Randy Camilla, Randy Camilla was editor for APG back in the day. Randy uh, gave me my first cover shot and uh, a few after that. And uh, I, I just got to tell you, I can't say enough about Randy Camille and Jerry Braun. Jerry Braun had Paintball Sports Magazine. And Jerry still has the, the field back there in uh, New York. And they're having the Woods Ball coming up. Uh, Kevin Donaldson, Kevin's kind of the, I call him the gatekeeper. Okay. Kevin kind of handles everything out there. And the Master Blasters are doing a repping. And if you get on Flagpole Productions, you're going to see a, a little bit about it. And also you're going to see... Kevin and the Master Blasters did a, a thing for Fox, and it's going to be coming out here pretty soon. So you're going to want to check that out. Remember, you got, if you check this stuff out, you grow the sport, okay? The more people know, the more people are interested. It, you know, it's just like anything. Uh, when I did my show back in the day, I was always worried that nobody was going to watch it, okay? 
And if nobody watched it, that meant it wasn't going nowhere. But it just was amazing. It just uh, it took off and just millions of people got to watch it. So that's what we want to do for Kevin and, and the Blasters, too. We want to uh, get out there. And when that show comes out, tune it in. It's on Fox Sports, I believe. Get on Flagpole, and it'll, it'll give you all the ups and downs on it. And then I got to always mention Gino from Belkin. Uh, everybody knows I love the guy, but I can't pronounce his last name. I, I will butcher it. As a matter of fact, I had to practice to say Belkin. Uh, so uh, anyhow, uh, Gino... He's a great guy. Gino does an awful lot for paintball, too. He uh, he works really, really hard for the sport, and he puts a lot of time and effort into it, you know. And, and the reason he's the biggest out there, you know, or one of the biggest out there is because of his work ethics, you know, and the crew that he's got. You know, all the guys at Belkin, the people at Belkin, they're just a, a terrific bunch. Uh, so I, I'm proud to be kind of hooked up with them guys. And I also have to say hi to an up-and-coming guy, Um Steve McGuire took and put a picture of Mark Gong Jr. and myself on there, and he, he made it like a, like a kind of a cartoon thing or something, you know. It, it is cool as hell, period, you know. And and we took and we threw in, a, he threw in a caption, you know, that said history and future. And that's what it is, you know. I mean, I'm history in the sport. Mark Gong Jr. is future. Mark Gong Jr. is seven years old. And Mark Gong, um, their father, obviously, uh, he had both his sons out here last Sunday playing paintball. His other sons got involved with it now too, you know, and uh, I couldn't be more proud of Mark. Mark played on constant pursuit. He plays on OG Ironman right now. And uh, I got to tell you, he's just a terrific person. Every time I mention his name, you know, I just, I, I feel good about it because that's what he has done to push the sport. He, he's been terrific. So, Without further ado, um, I kind of said my schmeal here, and I uh, appreciate everybody hanging in there. Real quick, though, Damon Fowler sent me this, and Damon is also going to be one of the, the prizes uh, given away for the raffle for Tracy Perez. And this is, a, a, it's a cool, it's a, it's a neck guard. It's called Gator Melee. And let me tell you, these things, it's rubber and, and little metal, and these guys are all put together separately. I was talking to Bill Bailey and, and Steve McGuire before the show, and I told him, I said, I'd probably go blind trying to put this thing together, but it is cool as hell. And I am going to have Damon on the show, actually. Um, he's another one of the people I'm going to have coming up here in the future, not, not too distant future, actually. And then I got to push... The delicious snacks. God, these things are good. I I can't even begin to tell you. <laughs> My uh, he sent this to me uh, for the giveaway. There's 25 in here. I've eaten half of them already. Uh, so uh, I had to call him back up, tell him to send me another 200 because I, I want to send them to some of my friends here too. So anyhow, these things are terrific. If you get a chance. Um, You'll, you'll see uh, when we do the, the giveaway next week. It, I'll try to get a better picture. Bill, Bill was yelling at me because I, I gave him a lousy picture of this. But I'll get him a better picture of it. And uh, it'll have the phone number and where you can order it and everything like that. And it'll be cool as hell. So, everybody, without further ado, let me bring on a couple of really good guys. Okay? Uh, you too, Steve. You too. Uh, let me start with Mr. William Bailey. <laughs> and <laughs> are you ready, Bill? I'm, I'm ready. Bringing them up right now, baby, Mister yeah. McGuire. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm good. I have to. I, I I hate to do this on your show, but I have to correct you. Of course. Um, it's B and Mike Paxton. Oh, is so it? Mike's cool. last name is Paxton. He's oh, okay. actually. He's actually a uh, world champion. He played with the Ironmen a couple him. times. Like he's awesome. And young. Yeah, and well, B Young, that was her maiden name, and she still uses it. And she's often known as B Young Paxton. But but Mike, it's Mike Paxton. And so uh, hey Mike, if, if you're listening out there, I apologize, buddy. I choked. But that's all I got. You know, everybody goes, Oh man, B Young, B Young's. So and I only bring I that up with, man. because <laughs> It's interesting, but Beelicious, that's actually B's nickname. 
Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, so you've got the meat sticks, but B-licious is also one of B. Young's actual nicknames. I'm going to send you some of these meat sticks. I'm going to send you and Bill some. I hope I got, so. I got 200 <laughs> of them coming. I bought, I bought 200 of them to help them out, you know, to get them going. These we've things got, are addicting. Oh, my yeah. God, they're so good. <laughs> we've got a place here called the Great Canadian Meat Company, which is a very small company that – and I'll, I'll try to send you some, some Canadian stuff your way, and I'll get some of that B-licious stuff my way, and we'll just – Oh yeah, joy. Yeah, yeah, and and then you know we'll do it. We'll Facetime and pick out. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to mark that one here in a little while, but I'm I, I'm trying to restrain myself right now. Jeff Thompson um, jumped in and said hello. Oh. Jeff, hello to you, buddy. Jeff's a good guy. You know, I'm actually hoping to have Jeff on this year. Um, he's uh he's a good guy. I've talked to him online a few times. Uh, he's pretty cool. He's gonna. We're gonna try to get his son on too. So we'll see what happens. We've got John Colby in the chats. Just so you know, I'm just looking at. I'm, I'm doing a little cheater. It's just coming up as Facebook. We've got John Colby in the chats. Tracy Prez is saying hello. Also, hey Tracy, and uh, there's a uh, Paul Farrell, and <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. There's a Paul lot of people that aren't clicking, giving Streamyard permission to see who, so we can't read the names out. I know. I go through that all the time. You know. I don't that. know why people do it that way, but it's the way it is. Well, yeah, but yeah, but you got it under control over there, right? I'm cheating. I've well, got another one going happens. here. <laughs> ah, I got it. Yeah, uh, Tracy uh, got a hold of me earlier, and Tracy was going to be on tonight, but Tracy's not really feeling really good. So uh, she said she's going to watch a show, and yep. she'll chime in, and that's just what she's doing. So, hey, Tracy, you just kind of hang tight, sweetie. Uh, we're going to talk about you here in a few minutes. And Chris Martini, Mr. I mean, this guy is like the the young Bill Bailey. He has so many marks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Bobby and, Dows from Constant Pursuits in the house, or from Booney Boys. Booney Boys, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah it, 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 the reason that he mentioned Booney Boys is back in the day, I went up and I did a tournament up there in Canada. A great time in the dome. I mean, I walked in the dome and I was like, <sighs> it just blew me away. It, it was just. Uh, Oh man, I was strutting. I, I was off the ground. I was so so happy. Yeah, well, that's anyhow, part of it. The other part is yeah. I'm actually a boonie boy now. So well, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I I, I hope to be an official member eventually. Yeah. Well, hey, I'm, sure, yeah. I'm more honorary than anything. So that's what I meant was honorary. Yeah. And so, uh, eh, oh, and we got to say hi. Just but anyhow, let me get back to this real quick. Okay, the boonie boy. <laughs> we went up there. We did a we did a five man. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Constant Pursuit had five guys, and the Booty Boys had five guys, and and they were rocking. Booty Boys were playing great, and I talked to them, and they were just a great, great bunch of guys. I mean, I, I talked to these guys for the time I was up there, and I felt like I knew them for a year. They were great. So I says, hey, you know, how about I fly you guys down? We go do the World Cup together. And they did. They came down. We had a great time. So I don't know. I don't remember how the hell we did, but it was pretty cool. Had a lot of fun, man. So, and Joshua Silverman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, I watch awesome. your I watch your show with him. Yeah, yeah he's a he's a great guy. Yeah, I, I want to know where he gets his ice cream at. Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Does he got ice cream? He's got a pitcher and he's staring down on some ice cream and it looks like he's getting ready to take it. It's either his wife or girlfriend's arm off from it. You know. It's... Oh, hey, wipe, wipe your lip, Bill. <laughs> oh, no. no Cheetos here. He's drilling a drilling a little air. I'm an ice cream fan. <laughs> Bobby Amy Dose Fuller, just, just going to send you a prospect jersey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Damien, Damien Fuller just checked in. Damien, I just showed this a little bit ago. And it is cool, my man. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. This is cool as hell. I absolutely love it. And, and Mike Schultz, everybody. Mike Schultz <laughs> sent me a, a Splatmaster. Now, I still have my Splatmaster out there, but my Splatmaster is you push it to cock it. This one, it's got the lever on the side. And I can't remember if it was the old Nell spot that I would go like that. And I had a callus on the side of my finger, man, it wouldn't quit. <laughs> Let yeah. me tell you. So, but yeah, um, we're going to um, talk about Tracy Prez here. Uh, we've got a, we're doing a raffle for her next week, guys. And, uh, you get on uh, Flagpole Productions and you get on Bill Bailey's uh, PayPal and you can donate. 
Tracy's having a, a huge operation next Tuesday, as a matter of fact, a week from tonight. And so uh, we're trying to offset some of our medical costs. So um, we've had all kinds of people donate some <clears throat> absolute cool thing, inclu including Josh Silverman. Josh yeah. donated a marker better than anything I've got that shoots. <laughs> you know, oh my God. <laughs> and I can't even enter. So, well, anyhow. <laughs> yeah, I know. What's that? Yeah, so I it. it's really nice. That's what I use at World Cup. Oh, all right. Yeah. Not that one, a different one. Oh, yeah. That's, that's beautiful. I mean, uh, you people need to get on uh, Flagpole Productions and wherever Bill Bailey has sent this out. Uh, Bill, Bill kind of sending everything out everywhere. And uh, you can take a look at the prizes we've got. And we're going to go through them. Um, what do you say we go through them right now, Bill? That's fine. Okay, we're going to start with Bia Young's. <laughs> Bee, Bee I got it. Okay, um, yeah, she donated uh, a Ladies Destiny t-shirt um, and a mask and a couple of patches. So I'm she's pretty Go ahead. I'm pretty sure those uh the Destiny t-shirt and stuff, I'm pretty sure that's made by Under and those are fantastic quality. All right. Yeah, the yeah, they Under look pretty is cool. What, the Under is what the um Alley Remember Foundation jerseys are made out of or at least they were. I think we're going over to Anthrax for the next round, but I can't say enough nice things about Under and uh Chris, the man behind it, he's the man in charge of the militia uh Veterans Militia and they're doing fantastic things, so. Cool. And then um, next, uh, Jennifer Montressor. Jennifer, great lady. Um, she's got a hold of me, and she's donating. It's called uh, New Tampa Damage Jersey. Ooh. I guess it was one that Tim had uh, back in the day. So that's something else, guys. I gotta, I gotta tell you, we got some cool stuff coming up. And Josh, we're gonna get to you in a minute, man. Uh, <laughs> Josh is pretty cool. I mean, when he. He called up, and when he put that marker online, it just blew me away. It was so cool. We're getting some feedback from something. Is that me? Probably because he doesn't have earbuds. Uh, I don't know. And then Kenny Stewart. Kenny, great guy. Um, he, Kenny is moving from where? He's in Missouri right now. Is that right, Bill? No, Kenny's in uh, Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky. Okay. And he's moving up to Michigan. <laughs> That's a mistake. Stay where the biscuits and gravy are. Stay <laughs> south. Yeah, it's so funny that the biscuits and gravy would come up like that. You know? yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just amazing. There's only me. certain things that matter in the States to me, and biscuits and gravy is one of them. <laughs> and Josh Silverman, here we go. One shocker marker. Damn. It is beautiful, too. I got to tell you, Josh, uh, that was very, very cool of you to donate that. You people need to get online and see some of these prizes. Uh, you need to, to jump in and get some of these tickets. First of all, number one, you're helping out a great lady, Tracy Perez. Okay? So you're helping her out because, you know, because we don't we don't want our family to sit and suffer and uh, be strapped. You know, it ain't nothing for, for us to, you know, $10, $20. Come on. Tickets are $5 a piece. Look at the stuff you can win. It's amazing. And next week, we're going to actually have the giveaway. Am I right, Bill? Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday, next Tuesday. Yeah, right now, we're probably looking at close to fifteen or $2,000 worth of guns to give away. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, um, you know, I'm just uh, I'm so happy to do that. And I just want everybody out there, you know, it doesn't take nothing, you know, 20 bucks, come on, people, you know, 10 bucks, buy a couple tickets. You know, you might end up with Josh's marker, man. That'd be cool as hell. Gosh, I mean, I, mean, I, I donated and I can't even win a damn thing. So, <laughs> you know? And and Tracy Perez has been helping all of us in the paintball world for over a decade. Like for people that don't know who she is, she's been the one that's been behind the scenes at NXL events and, and whatnot, just trying to help teams and help things get better and get done. And yep. she's been working behind the scenes at a couple different companies, I believe most recently with push and she still helps out with push as much as she can, but unfortunately because of her illnesses and whatnot, everything she does is more just, 
a little bit by little bit. But yeah, yeah she is she is one of the most pivotal females behind the scenes in paintball in the last decade. Well, you know, uh, Josh just uh, checked in, Josh Silverman, and said that the marker we're talking about here, guys, uh, that was the one I wrote the magazine review on. So that marker will be famous because yeah. obviously it was in the magazine. Obviously, it had the review done on it. It's a centerfold. So, there you My go. It's cold. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and George, George, <laughs> I hope I don't put your last name, Contreras. You know, George gets on. Uh, Georgie C. Yeah, they, that'll do it. Yeah, right. He's he's a great guy. He jumped on flagpole, and he was telling people to get out there and donate. You know, he jumped on a flagpole. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It took three days to get the smile off his face. <laughs> but anyhow, you know, Black George is not brass. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Damn your George, George is cool as hell, man. I got to tell you, he is. Uh, he's the kind of guy that I like dealing with in paintball. You know, he. I, I, I've never even talked to him. Straight yeah. face to face, but man, the guy jumps on, tells people to jump in for Tracy Perez. I mean, that's yeah. a good guy, you know. And a matter of fact, I hope to put George on here in the, in the near future because, uh, like I say, he's the kind of guy that you want in paintball. He's the kind of guy that will help push it. Run, George! Once you're on, you just <laughs> you can't escape. You keep they keep sucking you back in. Yeah, uh, run! Baby. Look at poor Bill. <laughs> yeah. No, George has been very active, and so is uh, Kathy Al Alvarez. She's been oh, very, yeah. you know, she she threw the challenge out, you know, a couple days ago. It was pretty cool seeing that. Yep. Yeah, Kathy Alvarez, uh, she's a friend of mine here. She's uh, one of the new friends that I met last year, and what a terrific lady. I I talk about her all the time, you know, and her profile picture has got her and I standing with our immortal shirts together. I love that picture. That is just cool as hell. That's about all I can say. She's really excited about at the NXL coming to Sacramento. Yeah, yeah, I know it. Yep. Like she's so excited about that. Yeah, I know she I is. I think so. it's pretty cool too. Now I just gotta figure a way to get there. <laughs> yeah. I know how to get there. I just jump in my truck and head over. <laughs> <laughs> all right, moving right along here. And Mike Schultz. Mike Schultz donated this, guys. Now, check it out. This is an original Vents goggle, still sealed, never put together. That is absolutely a piece of history right here. Nice. And Mike Schultz donated that. What a great, great guy. That that was terrific of you, Mike. And Mike's the one that uh, sent me the Splatmaster. Pretty cool. Sweet. Yep. I think and then... Uh, Josh just wrote, oh, my God, Vince, somebody needs to hand him a box of Kleenexes. <laughs> hey, I loved Vince, let me tell you. You know, I mean, I started, like I tell everybody, I started with, with John Gregory and JT. And, you know, I, I could have went with Marty and Scott. But just something about the Vince goggle I love. And, and I, I really like Todd. Todd was a, a terrific person, too. So. Carl always asked if those are Vince Predators. And no, uh, Carl, those were Vince Rage very yes. similar yeah they like very they very similar wasn't a lot of change you know then they came out with the vent uh, the the shield you know and stuff like that you know so you had the brim but, but yeah todd was always uh Dumflage. yeah yeah you know i'd go down there and i'd spend a few days with them um every couple months you know and i'm telling you we wouldn't go to bed till three four five in the morning he would be in there just doing stuff that's when we would go lay down man and then we get back up about 10 o'clock and he'd be right back at it. So Todd was a, a very, very good guy and worked his uh, butt off. Let me, Connor says, Hey Fred, what's your favorite baseball team? This is a paintball show. Yeah. I don't, I don't have a favorite baseball team to be honest with you. Um, I yeah. love Tommy Lasorda, but uh, I don't have a, a really favorite baseball team. Uh, I'm a paintball guy. You know, I love paintball. I love football. And they go in that order. So, you know, it's, 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 that's just how it is. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I, I didn't say it right. No, no, you didn't. <laughs> and then Mark Gong. Mark Gong has donated an Iron Man shirt and a headband. Now, yep. we were going to, yeah, we were going to give the headband away last week, but uh, we decided to. Go ahead and uh, get it on here. Uh, Jeff Thompson, go Bills, go. 
Yeah, yeah. I actually, I want the Bills to win this week, but you know, I'm I'm a Tom Brown. Brady fan, so um, we'll see. I I'm kind of with Tampa Bay right now, but uh, we'll see what happens. The Brown, I like the Browns too. No, I really do. This is this is the first the, the 1991. Um, since they've been in the playoffs, but the first one that they won was actually a few years earlier, like the 80s. Yeah, it was a long, it's long three time years ago. Before. You don't remember, it was like the Saints when they were the Aints. People would show up with bags on their heads and holes cutting. Well, the Browns were the same thing, you know. They but still Baker are Mayfield, yes. until this oh, year. Yeah, Baker Mayfield has changed that team. He is <laughs> rocking right now. So, anyhow, uh, so Mark Gong is donating some Ironman stuff. And Dirk Gadbury, um, Dirk's another really good guy. I've had Dirk on the show a few times. Uh, he's an Ironman Terrific, terrific person. He's donating uh, his jersey. So you can get a Dirk Gadbury jersey, which is uh, pretty damn team cool. Team captain jersey. What's that? That's the team captain. That's the really? team captain of the OG Ironman. Know. Yeah, but everybody else doesn't know. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad adding you told color to the show. You did. If I'm going to earn those meat sticks by Belicious, I got to add to the show. <laughs> I should whip one of those out and eat it right now. Now. <laughs> Now, this one I've been working on a long time. Kenneth Hefferly. Now, for a whole year, I butchered that poor guy's name. I mean, I couldn't get it. He, he even sent it to me in different ways. I could say it, man. Like a Kenny Gardner would do it, you know. And I still screwed it up, man. <laughs> so, Flash cards. Yeah, yeah. So, Zodiac people, he's donated a three-pack, a four-pack, and a five-pack. How cool is that? That's and I've got awesome. one of these. Yeah, he sent me one of these. These things are great. Very, very well put together and uh, a hell of a good idea. Have you played with one yet? Yeah, absolutely. I, I played with one in Denver. Like, I've got one here. And I wish I had a three-pack because that's what I like when I play rec. But, uh, yeah, I think mine's a – I can't remember if mine's a four-pack or a five-pack. But Mine's five. And uh, yeah. that's what I like. You know, And I like the suspenders and everything like that, too, because, you know – I, I got that hourglass figure, you know, problem is all the sand's going to the bottom. So it, it takes, and it, if I didn't have the suspenders, I'd be running next thing and be around my knees, you know, mm -hmm. and Brandon Melvin just chimed in. They're going to start calling <laughs> you beef stick Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, that's cool as hell, buddy. Brandon <laughs> Melvin, everybody jumped online. Just to tease me. You got to love it. <laughs> got to love it. All right, so now we are to uh, uh, and Damien, Damien Foster. I got that right there, Damien Fowler. This is what Damien sent me, but Damien is donating $100 worth of putting this together. And guys, each one of these, they're, they're rubber and they're, they're metal. Each one of these are put together individually. Unbelievable. You know, it's like the Knights used to wear back in the day. So, yeah, so... Damien, that is cool as hell. And I'm going to have Damien on the show here in the future. Um, I, I'm kind of looking forward to it. And I'm going to have Josh on his show, too. I watched him on your show, Steve, the other night. So um, Yeah. yeah That's the second out. time I've had him on. I, yeah. I, I can't get him on enough. It's just I don't want to have the same guest every week or people get bored. But I I'd have a blast. <laughs> he upstaged you, though, and he looked better. So I'm trying to work around that right now. So <clears> I, I, I'm trying to figure out how to Nobody looks to better than off. me. Yeah. <laughs> Just ask you, I know. Okay. My yeah. mom said so. <laughs> and then, uh, why? Well, right here. And Brian Matthews. Cobra Kai mug. Oh, my God. That is so cool. Sweep the leg. It, it, yeah. he, he took and hand carved this wooden mug with a Cobra on it. You got, I'm telling you, people, you got to get on Flagpole Productions and check out these prizes because they are absolutely awesome. Period. And we already talked about Bill Schultz and the Belicious. Now we're going to get to Mr. Bailey because uh, Mr. Bailey and Bud Orr, um, they're pretty tight. Yeah. So we're going to be giving away uh, three posters uh, the Cocker Chopper poster, the Auto Cocker Schematic poster, and then uh, his, I believe it, it's a, a Take Off the Godfather poster. It's probably the most famous one that everybody wants but uh we'll be giving one of each of those away and then uh and those are going to be kind right 
Yeah, yeah, they'll be autographed. Yep. And then uh, we'll be giving away that. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then uh, we'll also be giving away an Exalt uh, tank cover, uh, a couple pairs of hardback gloves, and just some other miscellaneous, you know, stuff to give away. You know, it's a lot of this stuff. You know, we'll have pictures of it all in uh, at Flagpole Productions. Uh, most of them are already up. But uh, if you haven't jumped on there to look and see what the prizes are, I think you'll be surprised. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff on there. Prizes. Oh, just great think, yeah. prizes. Yeah, there's a, a TC Paintball. That's a Tuck Johnson out of Arkansas. He's giving away a whole bunch of 3D printed stuff away. Uh, Is he the guy we had on last week? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. I want to have him on again. Yeah, he seemed like a good guy. We had a little yeah. technical trouble to start with, but then that. Oh, yeah. He, he went to his phone and that kind of panned out. But uh, okay. I know you're an hour and 18 minutes into our hour show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is so. there a Mandalorian painting too? Yes. Yep, there is. That's, what that's absolutely correct. Who made that? that? Is, let me see here. That is cool as hell too. I got to tell you. I couldn't right? believe that. Uh, Ian Ferrari. Okay, because that thing looks amazing. You know what I got down here? One cool poster. <laughs> One cool painting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am sorry. Um, I hope I pronounce his name right, too. A lot, of, a, lot lot of, of, yeah, a lot of people talk about that painting. It's oh, like, that painting is cool as hell, yeah. man. I got to tell you. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know, um, no way. Yeah. yeah. That's why we want people to, to jump in and buy tickets, you know, $5, you know. Guys, there's a gazillion prizes we got going out there right now. But, you know, even if you don't win anything, five, ten bucks, and you're helping somebody out, that, that should make you feel good all by itself. You know, I'm always dragging up the paintball community and, and saying just, you know, how generous everybody is and how we stick together. Guys, it's time to prove that. You know, um, you guys just need to get out there and back up my mouth, I guess. But, uh just, uh, you know, get out there and let's give Tracy a hand. Um, yeah. It's worth it. And Kathy Alvarez says, hi, everyone. Kathy, you got in a little late, baby. We were talking about you earlier. <laughs> All good, too. All good. Hey, did I tell you that I, I love that <laughs> that picture of you on uh, Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the cool guy standing next to you? You know, I, I just, uh, yeah. Steve's looking for a bar fed. I'm gonna. <laughs> I am not. That's not nice. <laughs> yeah, and Ian, I, I, Ian Ferrari. Why have I got? It is Ian Ferrari. Yeah, it's Ian. Ian, is it really? It's pronounced Ian Ferrari. <laughs> oh gosh, well, why doesn't it start with an E? You're killing me. Well, it was good seeing you tonight, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I got to tell you, I got a guy up here that remembers everything. I got my linguist with me. <laughs> no, I shouldn't be meat stick Fred. It should be Fred the Butcher. <laughs> Kill everybody. You're right there. You're right there. I, I kind of tear him up. <laughs> yeah, Kathy Alvarez is thinking Mark has, uh, she got an Ironman hoodie. She, she put a picture of it on Facebook the other day. You look good, babe, but it was your back. She turned around. The big picture was on her back, but it was really, really cool. And Tracy Perez uh, says, hey, Art. See, I can't see none of these guys. Art Gonzalez. Oh, was there us. Art? Oh. Yep. <clears throat> now, there's a heck of a guy. I got to travel all over with Art and... Uh, I got to tell you. Yeah, that's Art Gonzalez is coming in for 10 tickets, which I guess is 50 bucks. Yep. Yeah. Guys, every, every bit of money that comes in is going to Tracy. We're not taking anything out. Not uh, we're, we're using my PayPal account just so we can keep track and write everything down. But it'll all be, you know, after Tuesday, it, it'll all be transferred straight over to Tracy. And like I said, every bit of it's going her. We're not taking money out for any of it, you know, for anything. So, absolutely. Uh, if you if you want if you want to buy tickets, it's just Bill Bailey sixty eight at yahoo dot com. That's B I L L B A I L E Y sixty eight at yahoo dot com. 
and um, it's all going to her. So yeah, and and like I say, you know, five, ten dollars, twenty dollars, you know, that's not going to break anybody, you know. And and you're helping out a, a person, you know, Tracy. If somebody else needed a hand, I would almost bet that Tracy'd be the first one to jump in and give him a hand. You know, that's good about paintball because you see posts every day about somebody needing help and stuff, and there's always people responding to it. So, you know, paintball is really good about that. It, 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 they are. But, you know, the, the thing is, you know, a lot of people, just like anything, they sit and they, uh, they take a look at it and go, wow, I should do it, but don't do it, you know. And, you know, I, I don't want to get into being the home shopping network or anything like that. But I just think that, you know, the more people that that jump in and, and give Tracy a hand, I think that looks good for our sport. I, I really don't. I, you know, and like I say, $10, two tickets. Hell, you might end up with Josh's marker. Holy crap. I mean, that thing is absolutely beautiful. That would be cool as hell. You got, you got stuff down here that's, I mean, Air America's right here. Air America's putting these out. Those yep. are so cool. Oh, they are. Yep. Little vintage yep. Air America toolboxes from back Heck in yeah. the day. Absolutely. Oh, I would kill for one of those. Yeah, I got four of them. Yep. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> and you wonder why I correct you all the time. <laughs> I've got this. I've got I this. Thought you just did, I thought you just did what I was wrong. <laughs> I'll often give you a dirty look, maybe shake an yeah. angry finger or two. There you go. Yeah, you know, we're going to probably have you on next Tuesday too. This way, oh, if, you want if I, yeah, for the giveaway because the giveaway is going to be a two-hour show. There ain't well, no do you way want in hell. me to? Do you want me to host it so I can spin the wheel and stuff, and that way now, I can Bill's like, bring comments up? Do it with uh, uh, the number generator. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, yep. it's going to work out pretty good that way. And uh, <clears throat> like I say, it's going to be a two-hour show. Because we're going to talk a little bit, and we're going to give away some prizes and stuff like that, you know. And we'll probably, uh, you know, I don't know what time in the show we're going to give Josh's marker away. But, you know, Josh, that marker is cool. The one Bill Bailey's got up there is cool. Um, we got another auto mag uh, that's uh, been donated. So, you know, there's some great markers, you know, $5, $10. You get a chance at winning something like that. And even if you don't win, like I say... You're helping a very, very good lady in our paintball family. So, you know, I'm uh, I'm hoping you guys will all jump in this week. And, uh, you know, let's, let's get her a few thousand bucks here, guys. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, Fred, we, uh, Caesar Pizzo just uh, messaged me, and he's 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 wanting to donate three uh, Ultra Silk Boom treatments for marker. Oh, wow. And really? each, yep. each one will get a free T-shirt also. Yeah, so uh, that'll be added boom to the, the prize pack. Yeah, so it would be it would be the gun would be boom treated, and then it would be ultra silk. Although I'm not sure if it's going to be the infamous one, but this because this is the pro DNA one, and then also um, uh, boom treatment, which is the it's like the oil maintain. The stuff is fantastic. <laughs> I won't go into a full description <laughs> of how it all works, but it's like a yeah. three tier system for just. It's awesome. Yep. Did and each one, yeah. and you also get a T-shirt with each one. Yep. So there'll be, you know, three T-shirts and three uh, booms uh, <laughs> treatments, the ultra silk treatments. So, right on. Thank you so much, Caesar. We appreciate yeah. it. That's Ooh. awesome. Pretty much, there's almost going to be a prize for everybody. You know, <laughs> you know what? pretty close to that, huh? <laughs> yes. Right now, I, I have a. Two and a half pages of names and, and numbers, you know, and it's uh, I have to, I have, to I have to upgrade it every day. So, yeah, Bill, Bill's taking care of all the people calling in because all, all you got to do when you take and donate it's very very simple. If you donate twenty dollars, Bill sees your name, boom, you got five yep. or four chances to win five dollars a ticket. Yep. So, yeah, you're up and running. That is so cool, uh, Caesar. That that's absolutely terrific that you do that, you know. But Caesar's one of the good guys, you know. And God, some of the stuff he builds is cool as hell, believe me. But Caesar's one of the good guys, and uh, I'm I just got to meet him last year. 
happy as hell I got to meet him. He's been on the show, and I'm looking forward to have him on the show again. So, yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. And Joshua Silverman, he throws up four hearts there. Is, is he a cool guy, Josh? Not when he's throwing up that many emojis. <laughs> yeah, he's just a, yeah, he's just a cool guy. You, sh you should take notes, Steve. You could be liked like he is, too. I, I don't throw that many heart emojis up. <laughs> That's not me. Occasionally, yeah. I'll put the sunglasses on and a oh, horns. Cool. Yeah, maybe occasionally I'll throw in Texas one of those. Oh, hang sure. in there. Texas Longhorn, hang in there. Yep. Got <laughs> but Tracy I'm not. Perez, I'm not one to throw up that many hard. <laughs> Tracy Press Bill says thank you for all the hard work. So, oh, no problem. Glad we can do it. Yeah, I, I've been keeping track of stuff coming in. You know. It, I've had people sending me stuff, and I tell them, <laughs> wait till we give it away and send it to the person that wins it, you know? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Joshua. Josh works for Belkin. So he works for Mr. Gino Belkin. He does now, but he's yeah. had, like, he's written, he's wrote, um, wrote he's been a writer in most of the magazines he yeah. started uh he started out at pevs like when he was like knee high to a grasshopper and he basically warmed his way in and they gave him like an old broken i think it was a 68 special he can quote that it wasn't working and he just sort of brought it in and they adopted him uh the old pinocchio loaders he helped develop those he's been in so many places he is the epitome of popular unknown like just he's behind the scenes knows everybody but he's just not that big i he's big he's big to me he's a cool oh, guy he's awesome. yeah you know when i when i started talking to him last year um he, he was just so friendly right off the bat and then when we started doing a thing for tracy and he put that marker out there i mean that just blew me away that's awesome i yeah. mean in the same way with you bill that marker that you got up there that's beautiful you know, and we got what? Well, we've got four markers now. We got yeah. There's, there's those two. There's an auto mag. There's a spider. Uh, oh, that's right. You know, I got this here too. That's right. Yeah. Kenny yep. Foster. Yeah, Ken Foster donated this. Check that out. Is that something? Now there's a piece of history, huh? Yeah. This has all the manuals and everything with it. Look at this guy. Yeah. That's old school. It is. It's like brand new, too. Yeah. It's crazy. Unbelievable. So, yeah, somebody's going to get all this cool stuff. Now, are, is it all going to go away and is it all going to get given out in one big fell swoop? Or are you going to make little packages? No packages. Nope. They're going to be uh, each thing individual. going to do oh, a two okay. hour show. We'll sit and talk uh, for a few minutes about stuff. And then, uh, you know, Bill will go, hey, how about we give this way? And then we'll do it. You know, and then yeah. we'll go a little more. Hey, how about giving this way? And then we'll do it. Now, for like on a, on a uh, some of the TC paintball products, he did make little packages. So <clears throat> he's got stands, uh, nipple covers, thread savers, and uh, we are making like five or six different packages. So we won't sit there and give away every single little thing. Right, that, um, that's still from one manufacturer, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So see, Correct. that's what I'm talking about. Is that so? Yeah, yep. if uh, everybody was, yeah, that's perfect. Take forever. So, but you, oh yeah, well we got a quite a few right now, man. Yeah. So, Kathy says, "What was it?" A spider. A spider. Yeah. Let me take it out of here real quick. I haven't even got to hold it. It's pretty cool. It's electronic. Yeah, it's an electronic spider. Yeah. Yeah, Kingman. Kingman flew me down there one time to, to get me to to go with that, but I just never did. But that's a beautiful look at that. Yeah, it's yeah. gorgeous. It's got okay. the, I mean, it's got everything, including the barrel plug. <laughs> I mean, it just has everything. Look at this guy. Heck yeah. Sweet. That's old school. Absolutely. So there's a lot of cool things that we've got coming down here uh, next Tuesday. But, you know, you can't win them if you don't try to 
to donate some money and give Tracy a hand. And, you know, I'm sure Tracy would appreciate the heck out of it, too. Tracy was going to come on tonight. Uh, he says retail value is 100. Kenny Stewart said retail value is $150 currently on the spider. And Ken, hey, Kenny would know, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> spider and Tittman, that's all Kenny. <laughs> Boom, just like that. Yep. Especially Tittman. Yeah, he's, uh, hey, you know, Kenny's such a good guy, too. You know, Kenny donated, uh, gosh, not just the Tittman before. Remember, he had a JT jersey and a yeah, whole bunch of stuff he, he donated to give away. And then when he found out we were doing this thing here, God, he just jumped right in. And yeah. it was cool. Yeah. So what Josh said he was Josh is five foot eight. Is that what he said? Yeah. I can't read it. He went past me. He said he's five foot eight. He <laughs> said I'm five foot eight. I drank all I drank milk all my life, and this is all I got. <laughs> 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 hey, hey Bud Orr's house. Old school is here. Mr. Orr, how you doing, buddy? We talked about you at the beginning of the show. Um, like I say, you just need uh, no introduction. Bud Orr is Bud Orr. Period. And uh, what we're doing tonight, Bud, seeing that you just jumped in, is we're talking about the giveaway that we're going to have for Tracy Perez next Tuesday on our show. And we've collected a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, Bill, you know, you know, Bill, he uh, he takes and tells everybody, "You'll do this, you'll do that." So I guess you're going to sign some uh, posters for us, uh, which will be cool Spurs! as well. <laughs> 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 ah, you got a lot. I was going to send him some stuff. Uh, you know, it was going to be a surprise, but yeah, they're posters. <laughs> it's still a surprise. <laughs> Actually, I need to check. Yeah, I need. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, it is. It is to me. I, I don't know how it is to you. Yeah, he's gonna. Uh, Bud's gonna give away some patches. Also, he's got. He's got some original patches. Yeah. Oh. Oh yep. wow! Wow. See, and, so, see, that's what sucks. I can't enter this damn thing to win any of this stuff. Well, just yeah. sign up under a different name. Nah, I can't do that either because then I couldn't sleep at night. So. But you never know. Uh, someday, sometime when I see him face to face, I'll beg him. Maybe he'll give me one. I don't know. <laughs> so. Oh, I'm planning on begging. I'm totally planning on begging. <laughs> Who's this Frank Shots guy? I don't know. <laughs> what what is it? A meat stick. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Facebook user. Hey, Bill. Done on your PayPal. Sent to Bill Bailey sixty eight at yahoo .com. Art Gonzalez. Yep. Is it yep. really? Yeah. You know, I yeah. gotta say, I gotta say something about Art real quick. You know, Art and I, um, Art played on Constant Pursuit for uh, quite a few years, and you couldn't ask for a better guy. He was, uh, he was funny. Period. Uh, we had some great times. Uh, he'll, he'll every time we get together, he's going to talk about Malala, Oregon, because that had to be one of the, the coolest times I've ever had in my entire life in paintball. Uh, was up in Malala, Oregon. We went into we went into a bar and we all had the constant pursuit, you know, the patches on the back with the skull and everything, you know. And first we walk in there and everybody's all freaked out, man. You know, they thought we're like a motorcycle gang or something, you know. So I go up and I lay down and I order a beer, you know, and this guy goes, uh, you guys a gang or anything? I go, no, no, no. I said, well, paintball team. And after I said that, they just swooped on us, man. And I told them, I says, you know what, guys? I says, we're going to come back here tomorrow. No, two days later. I said, we're going to come back here in two days, and I'm going to put the first place trophy on this bar for you guys. And they're all like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I had this bar rocket. Well, we won the damn tournament. I walked in with that, that trophy, and I set it on the bar. And let me tell you, Constant Pursuit never bought a beer all night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were just had the best time ever. That That is probably one of my best times I can say that I honestly had. And Art Gonzalez was there. And, you know, Art can tell you uh, a, lot, a lot of things that we used to go do and have a great time. But Art's a terrific person. Art lives down in L.A. now. And uh, I miss him. He was a good man. He is a very, very good man. So you ever get a chance to meet him by any chance, Steve? Art Gonzalez? I'm not sure if I have or not. Oh, yeah. He was a hell of a player. Um and then he had a, a bicycle accident, and uh, he, he ended up getting paralyzed from the waist down and mm. hit, a, hit a guardrail um, on his bicycle. So then he went down there and uh, started racing uh, bicycles. 
handicap bicycles. And I guess he just, cause you know, Art was a strong guy to start with, you know, you know, he was kind of my bodyguard, you know, somebody mess with me. I go, Hey, you want to fight me, buddy? And I go, yeah. I go, well, he's me buddy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I wouldn't handle it. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so. It was Art that said, I'm honored to have played with the best paintball captain in the world. Oh, I love that guy. You know, like I say, Art, I, I know you're watching, buddy. Um, you are the, were the best. You still are the best to me, period. Uh, first class all the way. Yeah, anybody out there, you ever get a chance, uh, go meet Art Gonzalez down there. If, if you get a chance, talk to him. You're going to love it. Don't don't listen to all his stories, though, because uh, <laughs> some of them are like Malala. Yeah, <laughs> you might want to pass that. <laughs> so, but uh, he's a great person. I, I'm not only proud to know him, I'm proud to play alongside of him, period. And Tracy Perez says, hi, bud. Everybody says hi to bud. You know what? When, when, when they say this bud's for you, you know, I mean, that's got to be a, you, you know, Steve Beer makes you smarter. You know that? Do you, do you know that beer makes you smarter? It made Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, Bill. <laughs> that's that's like asking why did the plane land on the football field? I'm listening. It wanted to score a touchdown. Ah. ah. You know, that's like the old joke, you know, the Raiders used to be here, now they're Los Angeles Raiders, right? Yeah. I, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate mail for <laughs> But anyhow, you know. Last week, they, they took and called somebody to the practice field because they, they called in the DOA because there was a, a white powder on the field, and they couldn't figure out what it was. It was a goal line. <laughs> so anyhow, <laughs> yeah, believe me, there's a lot of Raider people around here, too. I'm coming out, you'll have a, a noose hanging out there for me. Oh, my God. That's Caesar, by the way, insulting our dad jokes. Just stay in. I love it. See, you know what? There, there, there it is right there. Everything you can eat. Oh, Art, Art I got to tell you, if there's one thing you remember from that trip, that is it. <laughs> I'll have to tell you guys sometimes off screen. But uh, it, it, uh, it was pretty funny. And, and Art, did we have a good time at that tournament? Huh? I, I can't remember who we took out at the very end. I know we beat Evergreen. And a couple other teams in the finals, and um, I want to say the dogs. I think the dogs were were there. We smoked them too. We were hot, man. We had, I mean, there was a fifteen man tournament too, and I had uh, uh, Michael Beard was there with us. And, Machine Gun uh, Mike. Yep, Machine Gun Mike and him and I go way back. He was there up there with us. Uh, there was uh, like three of the Iron Men and. And the constant pursuit guys, and it was just a, a, a great time. And it was up there at Splat Action, uh, John, John's field up there in Malala, Oregon. If you guys are up there and you ever get a chance to go play that field, that field is very, very cool. Believe me. Art Gonzalez absolutely... said it was the dogs that you guys beat. Yeah, at the very end in the finals. Yep. Yeah, Art knows, boy. I got to tell you, you know, I was trying to think of. Uh, <laughs> We played a, a tournament in Chicago one time, and we had everybody beat. We, we were first. We we're going to be have the first place, and we we're sitting there. And they stopped the game because one of the other guys had fell. So after they stopped the game, there was two of us and three of them. There was myself and a guy named Tony and three of them. So I told Tony, I says, I says. I'm going to take these guys. I said, you take that guy. I said, I'm going to take the other two guys, but they're probably going to get me. I said, go pull the flag and win the game. And he goes, you got it. So anyhow, it worked just like I said. I got taken out, but we took all three of them out. So Tony goes and grabs the, the flag from the guy that had pulled the flag. And back then, Lively had it that you had to take the flag once you had it and go all the way back to their flag station, touch their flag station, and then go hang it on on our flag station. So he grabs it and he goes and hangs it on our flag station and there's still three minutes left in the game. And Tony sat there for three minutes and never picked up on that the ref didn't say game over or anything like that. <laughs> and we lost that game by I think four points or something like that from first place to second place. It was an NPPL game. 
So, yeah, it was just amazing. Um, but Art remembered that too. And Art remembered who who we got taken when we played a Masters one time. We had these guys beat big time. I think it was a Lords of Discipline, I think he said. And we were just smoking these guys, man. We pulled the flag. And one of the Lords of Discipline, his girlfriend was one of the refs. And she pulled our guy to pull the flag. And we ended up not getting first place in that tournament. Either. Mm -hmm. Was so, the yeah. Lords of Discipline the predecessors to Aftershock? Correct. Right. That, that's that's, yeah. the, the that's absolutely did. right. That's what they became after Lords of Discipline was Aftershock. Yeah. Aftershock. Yeah, yeah. So, and, you know, Aftershock was a good guy, you know. It, oh, yeah. And, 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 you know, the same way with the Lords of Discipline. I actually liked the name, too, the Lords of Discipline. I thought it was cool. Um, and it was a, a hell of a game, but, you know, and it was still 15-man. And that's actually the tournament. This is way back in the day. That's actually the tournament where I met Tim Schloss. Mm. This guy, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sitting there. We're playing, right? And after every game, this guy combined, he goes, oh, 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 you guys, you guys are kicking ass. Oh, oh, you guys are great. And, and then he walk away, right? And I go, oh, I'd be like, who, who was that guy? You know, who was that mask? I don't know, you know. And so anyhow, so the thing goes on. And then after the Lord's Discipline as incident, that was a final game, too. That was a, in the um, the finals. That was a, the final game. So we ended up getting second. Oh. There we go. That's, yeah. uh, can't really yeah. get a clear. Yeah, yep. that's us. Yeah. Yep. So anyhow, so after it was over, then Kim comes up and he goes like this. He goes, oh, oh man, we've seen it. Your guy never got hit. And they pulled him. They pulled him. And I go, yeah, yeah. I says, I've seen it that way too. I go, excuse me. I said, who are you? <laughs> and he goes, oh, my name is Tim Floss. He goes, I make tiger stripe camouflage. And I go, really? And he goes, yeah, yeah. He goes, I want to sponsor you. And I go, really? <laughs> and he goes, yeah, absolutely. Man, I got to tell you, it was two days later. I had like three sets uh, of camo for each one of my guys. And this was 15 men, too. So, you know, Tim Schloss, he stood tall all the time. Same with Bud Orr, Tom K. Like I say, people don't understand what these guys did back in the day to actually promote the sport of paintball. Um, just huge, huge things. Yeah. On Bill. Yeah, they sure did. They yeah. still do. They still do, yeah. Well, look at Bud. I mean, Bud does all kinds of things right now. I mean, you mentioned Bud's name, and everybody goes, oh, man, I want an autograph. Oh, man, I want this. Oh, I want that. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, he's the man. He just, uh, you, you can't say enough about the guy. And, and same way with Tom K. You know, I asked Tom to come on the show when we did the Christmas thing. Never a he ha none of that. No problem. When do you want me in? You know, just... Uh, it's just very, very simple. And and now Tim, Steve, Tim has got a, a new camera, so he's getting his little studio set up. Too. Good. Yeah, so we'll be able to have him on. because It'll had be nice to actually talk back to him because just listening to him in the after show. <laughs> oh, I think that's so cool about that he calls you after every show just to say, that's you rock. That's that's like, that's like true friendship right there. And, and you'll make yeah. your yeah. This guy is so funny. I mean, yeah. he... He's like the skinny Rodner Dangerfield. You know, oh, 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 he is just absolutely. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah he's, he's definitely on my bucket list of people I'd really like to meet from, uh, from you'll, you'll love history. You. Absolutely will. Um, yeah. We're on a train um, going to Germany, uh, him, him, me, and my daughter one time. And uh, we, we buy regular tickets, right? Well, we get into the first class place. You know, in, in the first class car. So anyhow, the German guy comes up, the conductor, and he looks at her tickets. He goes, starts speaking German and going like this, you know, and, and I know what he's saying, you know. And Tim's just sitting there like a little church boy, and him and my daughter are like this, and I'm going, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. Yep, thank you, thank you. And the guy, this went on for about five minutes. Finally, the guy just handed her ticket back and goes like this, walked away. So we rode first class all the way. We walked out of this. <laughs> Oh, Frank, that was beautiful. Oh, oh that was beautiful. <laughs> he was cracking me up, man. Yeah, we can tell you some great stories. Oh, yeah. The man's terrific. So I'm looking forward to having him on because we had him on before, and boy, his reception was lousy. <laughs> yeah. Are we on that night, Bill, when we had him on? Yes. Yeah. It was pretty I mean, bad. 15 second delay or something like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Like like me sometimes. Today we're we're at like five bars today, so I'm like woohoo. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Let me see. I think it was a year. I built the Harley in 11 hours and rode it onto the stage. Yeah. Yeah, Bud's, Bud's done some great things, still does some great things. Uh, you know, they, having him, you know, he logs into the show almost every week and uh, texted me the other day, and he just told me, he goes, anytime you want me on, I'm on, so just let me know. So, I'm, But I'm saving him. Uh, next week, we're going to do the Tracy Perez thing. So, you know, next week, uh, we'll probably have the three of us, and uh, if Gina wants to jump in, he can jump in too. Uh, but just the three of us are gonna gonna work this. And, and I just so want to point out how casually you just sort of said, you know, if the man, the CEO of Vulcan wants to come by, he's more than welcome to. <laughs> Third one, like I'm that way. <laughs> I, I, well, well, no, it's just I mean I don't know if if Gino's in the the Paintball Hall of Fame or not, but that's a given that it's gonna happen. Like yeah. it just is. Well, he just got his new microphone and his new camera. So oh, does he have getting, it now? Yeah, he just got it. So uh, he's getting stuff set up. He wanted to try to come on tonight, but obviously he didn't make it. But uh, he said he was going to set his stuff up at home so he didn't have to go down to the shop or anything to do it. So Tracy Perez says she's leaving. All she's right, Tracy. Go get, All right, sweetie. Well, thank you for tuning in, Trace. Absolutely. And all our prayers are with you, and, and hopefully the, the paintball people – We'll jump in this week and uh, let's buy some some of these tickets and give get some of these prizes, you know, to help out a very, very good person. So I got to tell you, Kenny Stewart, you're terrific, buddy. I appreciate that very much, what you said. So, and Bud Orr, you are the man. I don't care what anybody says. You and Tom K, shoot. And Dan Colby, you three, man, you guys rock period so i think you guys were all described as the wheels of the the paintball wagon yeah and then then they get to me and i'm the broken spoke <laughs> that sucks you can you can go to an event with bud or any of them guys and they're always working behind the scenes like whenever we go to monte casino bud will be back there working on air compressors or welding on tractors or you know he just is like where's the tools at and he goes straight to work you know he, yep. Yeah, I'll tell you, I used to travel with these guys all the time. I yeah. mean, we we had a little click, and we would, and I just felt privileged to always be with these guys, you know. And we did a lot of fun things together, you know. Some stuff we'll talk about, some stuff we won't. But it was <laughs> absolutely very cool times. That's why I tell everybody, you know, I just uh, I just feel blessed to uh, have been in paintball back in the day. It was a little rough getting started because, you know, paintball was so new and a lot of people, the war games thing, you know, that the people think you're out there killing each other. That was kind of a hard <laughs> one to, to get out of. You know, we worked really, really hard to, to get out of that. It was the so, wild, wild west back then. Oh, my God. You had to be there to believe it. Oh, it I know. I mean, it was uh, it was cool. Though. But I wouldn't trade it for absolutely nothing. Absolutely nope. not. Kenny Stewart, you're the man. I don't care what you say, buddy. You, what you've done to help us and to help paintball, you're the one that makes it happen. I can't do any of this stuff without you. And, Bud, mm -hmm. you're the awesome guy. Believe me. And everybody knows that, too. So, all right, everybody. I guess that's going to be it for the night. Um, we went a little long here, like I always do. Uh, <laughs> Can I add yeah. one thing before you start Absolutely. Before you throw me out of here? Absolutely. Um, it's only a few more days until Paintball Media's newest documentary, the Jeremy Psalm uh, incident, or the the, Aval the Jeremy Psalm cheating incident, or the, the avalanche. I forget how it's worded. Yeah. It comes out, I believe, on January 20th. And the really cool thing about that is, is that you sign up to the Patreon account for Paintball Media, and he's uploading all all like one or two a week he's uploading all his um interviews that was helped to create the uh um, the paintball history. The complete history pod the, yeah the complete history um documentary yeah. so every even though you're paying i think it's like seven bucks or eight bucks a month every week you're getting new content right and you're getting so the new um documentaries coming out in a few days and then every, I believe it's every month, but I do know that there's going to be 12 in total. So one's coming out, and then there's going to be 11 more after this one. 
and I've already started recording the narration for the for the second one, which I can't talk about because it's a surprise. Cool. But yeah, if you guys, if there's anybody that really loves paintball history and you want to see Fred Schultz and like all the old interviews, they're coming out on that as well. Very good. Yeah, uh, John Armadillo did a, a terrific job on that. He's uh, he's a good guy. You know, I, I've got an interview over here from 1993 that John had sent me. He faxed it to me and uh, asked me, Fred, will you please answer these so I can put them in print? And I, I wrote them out and I texted them back to him, but I still have the original fax that he sent me and the fax that I sent him back. So <laughs> 1993. How do you store all this stuff? Oh, shit. My wife listening. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean... Every five to ten minutes, like, oh, I've got this here in the back, and I'm, I'm, you, I'm not thinking hoarders, but I'm thinking like, like the. Do you remember Indiana Jones at the end when they're hiding the ark? All I'm yep. seeing is rows and rows and rows of boxes. Let me tell you, I've I've got I've I actually got a warehouse downtown, but I just keep my my other stuff in that. But I have a building out in back that's uh, twelve by sixteen, and I've got boxes that are three feet by three feet by three feet. And I bet you there's probably every bit of 15 of them that got trophies and plaques and clothes. And I got I got all the t-shirts from all the NPPL tournaments from the very, very beginning because I helped put that together. Right. So I got all the t-shirts, never worn them. They're all brand new, every one of them. So I got tons of stuff. And I can say it because my wife's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. You do know this is recorded, right? She can watch it after. Everything stays on the internet. I, I, yeah, I don't let her watch it. I mute I mute me out. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants to watch it for Bill anyhow, so it works out. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, well, hey, Steve, thanks so much for being on tonight. I do appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to having you on next week when we do the, the Tracy Perez raffle. You good? Awesome. All right, everybody. Keep your paint dry and play with passion. Bye, Steve. Mr. Steve McGuire. Um, Whew. Unknown Paintball Podcast. See, it took me a long time to get that right, too. But you know, I, I'm coming around here. So, <laughs> William, it's always a pleasure. You know, um, yep. you're just uh, you're you're a good guy to have on. Well, it's Very always good. fun. It's great yeah. getting to hang out with some paintballers and just hey, listen to see what's going on. See how much fun it is next week when we got. <laughs> well, all I, I figured out what was going on with my computer. Uh, every time my PayPal clicks, my my computer goes. Bleep, it almost like spazzes out. I'm like, oh shoot! It, it went off like four times while we were here talking in the last ten minutes, and I'm like, oh shit! I was, oh, I was waiting to get kicked off. Yeah. So. All right, Bill. Well, all right, day, buddy. And yep. uh, I'll be talking to you. All righty. We'll see you guys later. All right. Mr. William Bailey. You know, uh, having Steve and, and Bill on, these guys are, are just great. George Contreras. George, God, I hope I'm saying your name right, because you deserve to have your name. George C. That's what Steve told me to do. I, I actually like that. That's something I can actually handle, because I know what a C looks like. But, George, you know, what you've done, because um, I've seen the post you put on uh, Flagpole, jumping in to, to have people donate to Tracy, and uh, it's outstanding, period. That's uh, about all I can say, buddy. You're a, you're a great man. So, all right, everybody. I appreciate you hanging with us tonight. Um, please get on Flagpole Productions and check out the prizes. I mean, these things are great. And... Actually, don't even look at the prize part, people. Look at you're helping somebody, you know, $5, $10, $20. That's not going to hurt you guys, you know. Jump in and buy some of these tickets, and who knows, you might win some cool stuff. But in reality, you're helping a great, great person. So, uh, Jeff Thompson, you have a good evening too, my friend. All right, you stay safe. So, all right, everybody out there, um, I've had a good time tonight. You know, every time I got Steve and Bill on, it's it's always pretty good. Having Bud Orr chime in, you know, I mean, who could want more than have the king of paintball jump on and say hi? Come on. You know, that's about as cool as cool can get, you know. And Joshua, Joshua is, uh, 
he's becoming one of my real, real great people that I, I look forward to talking to because what he does for the sport and uh, donating that is just uh, absolutely incredible. All right, everybody. So I guess this is going to be it. Remember, please get on Bill Bailey 68 at yahoo.com and $5 a ticket. And you've seen the prizes we got. Jump on flagpole. You can check out all the prizes. They're going to be cool as cool can get. And we are definitely looking forward to raising some money for, Tr for uh, Tracy. So please, please jump on and let's give this lady a hand. Let's show everybody out there what the paintball community can actually do for itself instead of worrying about us personally, let's all worry about somebody else, okay? Let's do that. All right, so everybody out there, till next Tuesday, 7 o'clock Pacific time, please play hard, play safe, play fair, but play paintball. Love you guys. Bye now.